Hello, Brit. Good morning. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank Sir Telv and Isaka Latvia for organizing and supporting this annual conference. This is one of the most important cybersecurity conferences in Latvia. It is held each year in October in the framework of the European Cybersecurity Month. I am truly thankful for the opportunity to give the opening speech today. Today, we live in a different world than when we met here in 2016. The use of modern information and communication technologies at home and at work is key to the prosperity of Latvia and its citizens, as it is for all countries. It offers a big potential for growth of the economy, productivity, investment, research, and more. It lets us live our lives connecting to people far away and allows us to experience their culture and ideas. It lets us have a higher standards of living. But using these technologies, comes with risks of cyber attacks against everyday users and businessmen and against states and the international community. Since last year, the global cyber landscape has changed significantly. The two global outbreaks of ransomware cyber attacks, the one cry attack in May and not Petya in June, of this year caught companies and public institutions around the world of, of guard. It put the doubts in the mind of people, many policymakers and cybersecurity experts about the vulnerability of digital society that uses information and communication technologies for most daily and business activities. It is now a trade-off between staying always connecting and staying always safe. High standards of cybersecurity across many sectors are no more than ever becoming a top priority for the European Union, NATO, and many other international formats and countries, including Latvia. Despite the ever-increasing number of threats during the last year, the Ministry of Defense of Latvia has worked to ensure a more safe and secure cyber environment, more effective response in case of information technology security incidents in Latvia. The Ministry has worked on practical measures to improve cybersecurity in the country by improving supervision of national network connection, and the Ministry has participated and coordinated Latvia's participation in cyber exercise at home and internationally. Together with other institutions in Latvia, the Ministry has worked on ensuring a framework for regulation, secure electronic identification of persons using e-services. The Ministry will ensure that Latvia can provide secure electronic identification tools by directing the work of the Digital Security Supervisory Committee to register and supervise qualified security electronic identification service providers. This will ensure higher and harmonized requirements for electronic identification services that provide access to e-services that are critically important to the society. Another top priority for ministries is the transposition, transposition of the Network and Information Security Directive of the European Union, for which we have prepared since 2016 and need to finish by 2018. This is the first major cybersecurity legislation adopted by the European Union and will require more cooperation between the public and private sector on IT security than before. 
The transposition of the directive will ensure a higher level of standards of security of networks and information systems in Latvia and across the EU. It will also ensure a solid cooperation platform between European Union member states against information technology security incidents. So far, the work has focused on securing the networks and information systems and electronic services of major national infrastructure and businesses. It is common to think that they would be the major target of cyber attack. And therefore, there is still a lot of work to be done in securing Latvia against disruptions caused by cyber attacks. We do see that the digital technologies become more integrated in the smallest daily activities, more complex and more capable. The same is true for the types of threats in the cyber environment that become more difficult to detect, prevent and recover from. Awareness of relevant threats in the cyber environment and cal calculating the risks is key to fostering strong national cyber security capabilities. Therefore, I am glad that today's conference will allow to focus on some of the prominent cybersecurity threats today and their analysis. The European Commission's cybersecurity package this September has taken note of the need to counter specific cyber threats. Thus, will be pay close attention to future initiatives and legislation proposals regarding new developments in cyber security. Cyber security will have to continue to transform along with existing cyber threats. And the first line of defense is always a well educated, attentive, an adaptive user of digital technologies. With well-educated users of digital technologies, it will be possible to minimize cyber risks associated with emergency of new digital technologies. And I hope the discussions today will give you new insights and thoughts to consider regarding this important matter. In conclusion, I would like to thank the organizers of the event for making it possible, and I would like to thank the audience for gathering today in such a large volume. It shows just how relevant the issues to be discussed today have become for all of us, and I hope that the experience from today's event will benefit every one of you. I thank all of the supporters of this event. I wish you all the best for this conference and a pleasant and fruitful discussion and exchange of ideas. Thank you.